Hello, I'm going to talk about the individual pattern pieces and I'm going to start with the skirt. This piece here is the skirt back. You cut two of these because there's going to be a seam down this edge of the skirt and it attaches to the skirt side back which is piece number 11 on this pattern. So this is going to be your seam. These arrows will match and it goes all the way down to the hem. This side of the skirt this is, think of this as half of your body. Here's the center of your back. This here is going to be your side seam. And for the front, it's very similar. Here we have the front. This line here that comes down the pattern piece and points on both ends to the center means you're going to cut this piece on the fold. So this is going to be your center front right in the center. This gets sewed onto the skirt side front, piece number nine, on this edge. And you'll see these arrows are going to match up. Sewed all the way down here in a five inch seam. So, five eighths inch, sorry. This edge is going to be on your side hip here. So that's the skirt. And I mentioned I'm going to use double D for the for the bodice. Here's the double D side cuff. Here's the bodice front. Now this pattern did something different. Usually in a multi-size pattern you just have one front and you have all the sizes called out. You can see the sizes called out in different lines. But this one actually has a different front for every cup size. So make sure you cut out the front that says your cup size on it as well. So the front mates with the side front right around here. And these arrows, this arrow will match up and this arrow will match up so you can kind of get an idea of what the front bodice is going to look like. For the back, you have one back. It's cut in multi-sizes. You can see the sizes on the side. This is their center back. You're going to cut two of these and there's going to be a seam right down the back in the center. This is the side back. Uh, there's not a cup size associated with this pattern piece. The side back only has the multi sizes on it, as you can see. It sews onto the back like this, matches these two arrows right here. So you can kind of get there's ease built in here that you have to ease in so that's why it looks bigger than the other piece but it's going to look like that when you're done the last couple pieces I have here is a front facing this is going to go down the center of my front bodice to finish it off so there's no raw edges there actually goes like this. It's also cut on the it's also cut on the fold of a fabric so it's gonna go like that and there's a back facing back facing it's going to finish the neck on the back bodice just like that Usually the facings are sewn together, so how you, this would be, this is going to be done is the front facing. <laughs> it's hard to do this one-handed. It's going to be sewn onto the back facing like that, and then sewn directly onto the dress. But those are the pieces. Oh, forgot one. The sleeves. They did something different with the sleeves on this pattern as well. Instead of having one short sleeve, which is view B, they made a different sleeve for every size. So make sure you cut out the sleeve that corresponds with your bodice size 
I'm using a 28 so I cut out the, the sleeve for a 28 and I also cut and followed the lines for 28 on all of the skirts because that's the biggest size they have and I'm going to have to increase the size anyway when I start doing alterations so there are your pattern pieces